Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Oliver, and in today's episode, I want to show you the best car leasing deals that I've found so far this April. Okay, first up, oh my goodness, look at this, the BMW XM. I'm joking, of course. Who can afford £1,293 per month? But actually, if you look at the Loco score, 86, it's not too bad. I mean, this is over a hundred grand. Uh, motor over 110,000 starting from. But anyway, I just wanted to start the episode with a little bit of a <clears throat> intense start. Let's get on to the, the realistic ones. Okay, here we have the Vauxhall Grandland 1.2 Turbo Ultimate 5-door Auto. Automatic. That's always good when you want to chill, especially nowadays on the UK roads. It's £190, so I like to kind of look under £200 deals per month just to see what's out there. This is a 100 loco score, so great value for money. You're looking at 44.1 MPG as well, 514 litres of boot space, and if you go through the parameters here, factory order, if you want one in stock, ready for kind of like two weeks available for delivery, you're looking at £16 more per month, might as well keep it on that, 8,000 miles, anything else, even if you want to take it down, you've got to pay £19 a month or more for 5,000 miles, so you might as well keep it on 18. You can change the upfront payment. Oh, if you pay £10, oh, if you change it to 12 months up front, which takes it from 1.9k up to 2.4k, you can get it down to £179 per month. So there you go, a little bit of saving if you've got the cash to pay up front. It's a 1.5 year lease term. You've got 8k miles, and remember, so one and a half, that's 12,000 miles to play with over 1.5 years so you can do maybe 10,000 in the first year and then for this next six months just limit it to you know 2k so you remember you've got 12,000 miles with this 8k a year to play with so we've got two two pretty much two 2k up front let's check out the gallery look at some pictures here i mean i'm not sure about the blue i'm not i'm gonna be honest with you guys i'm not a massive fan of voxels but they do have their uses and I do see quite a lot of Vauxhalls on the road, a lot of popular cars, Astras, the Corsas as well. And you know, the, you've seen, I've seen a few more Grandlands out there. I always think it's a granddad. Grand, I, I think the Grandland as a name isn't great. Don't get me started on the interior. I, I do find the interior a little bit bland, especially on the digital dash side of things for the Vauxhalls. Anyway, that's my personal opinion. Let's check out the price history. This is always good. Whoa, over the last year. So it actually used to be £813 per month on the 12th of Feb. Who is paying? Sorry, who is paying 813 quid for a Vauxhall Grandad, a Grandland, for, no, I mean, this is when you want to get it now, right? £190, really usable car, and compared to a PCP, least like I've calculated, £577.80 per month every single month. There you go. Let's move on to my second pick, Renault Capture. If you're going to go for a French car, I think Renault is probably up there for the best one to get. And the Captures, again, really, really popular car. See tons of these. And I actually quite like Renault's light design with their models. £185 per month. That's pretty good. It's pretty. It's under £200 mark, which I like to see. And if you want the hybrid version, you can see here it's £54 a month more. It's 2.5K up front at the moment, two year deal, and you've got 8,000 miles per month, which is great, which means you've got 16,000 miles to play with over two years. So if you go, oh, I've done 10,000 miles in my first year, don't panic, you've got 6,000 miles left in the second year. And if you go over, you know, the penalty pay payment per mile might be 13P. So don't worry too much, don't think, oh, you know, I'm gonna go into 8,000, I'm gonna go pay 10 pound a month more for peace of mind. For 10,000 miles a year. I mean, you can do, but I do think sometimes it's good to just double check with the broker or the company. Can you get a bolt on if you're worried about going over your miles? Can you get a bit of a bolt on and get that rather than pay excess money per month for miles you might not use? So just, just put that into consideration. You know how many miles you use, but I'm a massive cheapskate and a tight, a tight wad. So I try and get the the cheapest kind of price and then maybe get a bolt on or if i go over by a thousand miles and the penalty payment is like 10p to 13p per mile just pay at the end pay at the end look at the price history for the Renault capture again probably best time to lease these type of cars 
used to be just about 306 3rd of July now 179 and it's just come up to 185 cool little car it has got some some good uh, miles per gallon I always like looking if you're gonna lease a car and you want to try and save you know value for money 47.9 MPG 404 liters of boot space as well. It's always good. Not to 62 miles per hour in forever. It's 14 seconds. That'll be enough. Let's go. We've done that. We've gone to the gallery. I mean, who chose this? This brown color. What is that? that that's a, if you're going to take some press images, guys, choose a color that's a little bit more poppy and a little bit more modern and futuristic. Is it brown? Is it orange? Who cares? It, it, it looks a bit off. That's pretty cool from the back. I like the light design. Right, anyway. You're going to have to let me know what you think about the Renner Capture. Good pick? Yeah or nay? Let's go on to the next one. All right, my last pick. The Nissan X-Trail. Very, very cool car. I've actually got a review on this car. And I did another video about reasons why to get this over a Qashqai. Super easy car to drive. Really nice inside. Just one of those cars where you think, Man, this is crazy. If more and more people get inside this, they'll really like it. And it's under £300 too. £277.88 per month. It's an e-power. How the car works is the engine doesn't ever actually put power to the wheels. It powers... It's basically used as a generator. It powers up a battery and in turn powers an electric motor. And you're looking at 48.7 mpg. So it's a different way. But you've got that hybrid element there. If you want the petrol version just, it's £51 more. Knocks the MPG down, as you can see, to 38. 485 litres of boot space. And I believe these are a seven-seater as well option. You might have to check that uh, factory order if they got the option here. I believe there was a seven-seater option. Maybe there isn't. You'll have to let me know, guys. Am I going crazy? I swear it was a seven-seater, the one I had. Anyway... Let's go through some of the the price history. Uh, no, actually, let's talk about the deal. So it's a two-year deal. Again, 5,000 miles. So you've got 10,000 miles of play over the two years deals. If you want more miles, because you know you need more, then you go into miles. Uh, £13 a month if you want 8K, 27 for 10, and so forth. If you want to change your upfront payment, you might be able to knock off £13.17 if you go 12 months payment up front. That's £3,475 up front there to keep it as low as possible. It depends how much cash flow you guys have got up front. But, I mean, I've got to look at this car. I've got the, the car, the X-Trail, the Nissan design language is getting better. The older X-Trails look a little bit more off-roady. This one is a front-wheel drive. You can pay a little bit more to get the four-wheel drive option but i don't think we need four-wheel drive that's another argument for another day let me know if you think you need four-wheel drive in the uk i i think we don't but anyway it looks it's a good looking car look at it again not the best color the one i had was in a really cool gray kind of like the audi nardo gray that kind of gray and it looks really futuristic modern as well i love that i think these cars are really cool i'm not sure about that color again you can choose your color because this is factory spec it's not let me double check. Yes, yeah, so it's uh, they don't have any in stock. So there you go. If we go to, there you go, £45 a month more for four-wheel drive. Don't, you don't need it. And again, it's the Ascenta Premium. There is one more before that, which they haven't done, called the Vizia, then Ascenta, the and Connector. But you don't need it. Look, that's what you get with it all. Reverse parking aid. You're fine, you're fine. You're fine. Now, to be fair, with the price history, these, these cars have kind of stayed in the, in the similar range. Back in... Come on, I'm clicking it. 292, 268 on the 10th of April. Over the past 12 months, I had a bit of a dip here. 199, good time to get it there. When was the 1919? 5th of Feb this year. That would have been a good deal. But here we go, from 1st of April, £264.71. Compared to a leasing PCP, £322.51 lease loco have calculated you guys would make a saving every single month. There you go. There are my picks for April. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Tell me what your monthly budgets are. Because when I'm looking at Lease Loco, I'm looking at really good value deals. But also I'm looking at affordability. And I know sort of under £200 is fantastic. You're getting a brand new car. But let me know in the, in the comments below. What is your monthly budgets? And maybe I'll do a video just based 
for those uh you'll have to let me know in the comments if you found any good deals share them below i love sharing great deals where we can all just save money together i will put a link below links to directly to the deals and if they've expired they will go to similar deals and you never know they could be even cheaper and full transparency if you click that link and you go on to lisa car you get an amazon gift card and i get an amazon gift card if you don't click use those links and you just go direct no worries maybe you just want to throw me a like and consider subscribing anyway that's the end of the video thank you for watching guys as always throw me a like comment down below the best deal you think or any deals you found on the website as always get subbed to car chat tv and i'll see you on the next one if you've made it this far thank you ever so much for watching i've just popped up two more videos on your screen that you also may like if you do watch one let me know what you think